Hey, good evening. Welcome to Life Point. Also, Band of Brothers. So glad that you guys are a part of uh, this uh, four week discussion. We, um, we're going through a new series called Samson. We're going to talk about the life of Samson. And this week, I just opened up talking about the importance of men and our role in, uh, in our communities and our families, our culture. Uh, Ezekiel 22 30 says, God is looking for a man. He said, I'm looking for a man. I looked for a man. I, I looked for a man to stand in the gap, one who would build a wall, one that would engage their family, engage their wife, engage their community. Engage their church. God's looking for a man. And my prayer is that, guys, those of you who are watching, you'll be that man. Ladies, those of you who are watching, you'll pray for that man. Maybe, maybe you're still praying for your man to come along. Pray for him, that, that God would raise him up. He'd light a fire inside of his heart. But, but we talked about the importance of men and our roles. We're not in a competition with you ladies. There's, there's no competition. God made us uniquely different for for unique different purposes god wired us as men to lead our families to serve our families and every woman i've ever asked do you want a strong man in your life absolutely no woman wants a weak girly man they want a strong man in their life and how do you how do you maintain that strength where does that strength come from and that's what we've been talking about We're looking at the life of samson and looking today, we looked at the three things, those attitudes, three attitudes that cause a, a strong man to be weak because we have such potential. We have such uh, an amazing potential in our lives that God built into us. But if we're not careful, we squander it just like Samson did. And so we looked at the three attitudes that he had that caused him to go from strong to weak. The first attitude was lust. Lust says, I want doesn't matter where it comes from. doesn't matter that, that uh, the people around me are saying don't do it. It doesn't matter what our parents think. It doesn't matter what our God thinks. Um, we just, we want it. And, and in the process of that, uh, we turn aside. As we look at Samson and, and what he did. He turned aside and he looked at that carcass, that lion carcass that he had ripped to shreds. And, and, and the second attitude is, I deserve it. This attitude that, of entitlement, that I deserve this because, you know, I, I, I work hard or I, you know, I do this and so I deserve to look at porn or I deserve to have an affair or I deserve to, to take a little from the job and, and skim a little off the top. I, I deserve, you know, and this entitlement attitude will make us into weak men. And the third thing we looked at is pride. Pride says I can handle it. We look at the life of Samson and see how he, he went from, uh, from just, first of all, saying, I want it, and allowing lust to drive him, and he went to Timnah, and he, and he went to a place he shouldn't have been, and he went, and he, and he took a woman that he shouldn't have taken, and, and he also then uh, turned aside, and he, he touched that dead animal, and he took the honey out of it, and, 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 and basically turned his back on God, turned away from God, and, and then he had this attitude of, I can handle this. I can handle it. And this is something that, that causes us to, to self-destruct, guys. Ladies, this will cause your man to self-destruct. This attitude that I can handle this. I can do it. And you know, all along, Samson had, he still had long hair. He still looked on the outside like he had it all together. And sometimes, guys, we, we look like we got it together. We act like we got it together. But in reality, we turned aside a long time ago. My prayer for you is that you'll turn back to the Lord. Turn to him. Acknowledge, man, I can't do this. God, I can't do this without you. You know, the thing we deserve is death. It's all we deserve. But because of God's grace, we don't get what we deserve. We get his love. We get his mercy. And so turn to God. Hope you have a great time tonight in your discussion. I'm sure it's going to be interesting. It's going to be great. Pray for one another. Love one another. Encourage one another. God bless you. Have a great week.